After nearly five years of fierce war that killed tens of thousands of innocent Syrians, and after the European community ignored their voices for too long, the hand of terrorism reaches the French capital of Paris. The world quickly rushed to support Paris, forgetting all the disasters happening in Syria and its surrounding countries. Disasters caused mainly by the policies of these countries. Yet Syrians succeeded in delivering their message to the world that overlooked their suffering. For the Syrian youth, social networks have become important means to confront the international media outlets' attack on their country. Given the restrictions the West has imposed on Syrian media. Syrian youth launched a spontaneous campaign that went viral. Syrians around the world started adding their country's flag to their Facebook profile pictures as a reaction to the celebrities, websites and even some of the world's landmarks that supported France in showing the French flag. A few hours after the launch of the campaign, the whole world heard the Syrian voices. Pray for Syria was soon the most trending tweet, even though the world was busy with what was going on in Paris. Paris attacks was the second most important tweet after Pray for Syria. The campaigns support Syria and pray for Syria are spontaneous. One of them was launched by a young Syrian called Karim. It was a reaction to the way the West has been dealing with the Syrian crisis and to the bloodbath that watered the Syrian soil. Within few hours into its launch, the campaign was met with unprecedented concern on the social networks. Facebook provided a service that enables any person living in Paris to tweet, I'm fine, an action that made Arabs and Syrians raise the question, why is the world's largest social network exercising such social discrimination? Don't Syrians whose country has been plagued with a fierce war deserve a chance to use such services? Because they have suffered the most, the bitterness of terrorism and extremism. Syrians can best express the danger of this border-crossing terrorism. Nur Muhammad, MEC, Damascus.